Hey guys, it's Tama Lover 69 again, and this will be a special, highly requested video on a review for my Tamamo and Saber figures. So, I know that a whole bunch of people are asking me to showcase and give me my reviews on them, so I figured I'd give the people what they wanted. So I'll be going over each of these figures uh, one by one and giving you my score and impression of them. Uh, so I'm not going to be covering my prize figures, which are a lot cheaper. You can get them off of Amazon for usually about 40 bucks or so. Um, but these will be my uh, premium figures that go between 100 to 200 US dollars. Um, so without further ado, let's get to it. So this first one is Fate Extra Caster Casual Tamamo. So she's in her, uh, she's in her casual outfit, not her traditional uh, caster outfit. She's got a nice little streetwear hoodie with her bra sticking out. She's got those long socks, shorts, and all around pretty nice look. It's definitely the most basic of the Tomo figures I have. Um, her hair is not as detailed. It kind of all blends together. Uh, but it was only about $100, not including shipping. So, uh, not, bad, uh, not bad at all for its value. Um, for some reason, it's like $170 now online, but I don't know if I would buy this for $170, but for the price I paid, it's pretty alright. Pretty solid, pretty cute. Yeah, 10 out of 10, would recommend. It's a masterpiece. So this next one is a 1 to 6 figure of Schoolgirl Tamamo. Um, it's about $140, not including shipping, and it's pretty incredible. So the hair is really nice. You can see that it's individually stranded, and it has sort of like a fade color to it, which, in my opinion, is pretty dang cool. Uh, she's got huge boobs in the front. Like, it may not look like it, on video but these are pretty massive uh, as for the base uh, everything is pretty loose actually like it's not locked down in place you can kinda move her around uh, it's definitely not like locked in or anything but it does kind of have imprints that you can put her legs on uh, the corner piece back here actually broke off. I'm not sure if it was during shipping or if I'm just careless, but I'm not too salty about it. Uh, I could always glue it back together, although knowing me, I'll probably just make it worse. But this is overall a really great figure. Um, just got to readjust it. Uh, looks great pretty much anywhere and especially in my case. Uh, I'll give this a 10 out of 10. It's a masterpiece. So now we're getting a little spicy. This is Lancer Tamamo in her Fake Grand Order Summer outfit. Uh, this one came with a removable shirt and hat, but I've chosen not to put those on. Uh, I kind of like her, you know, as out in the open as possible, if you catch my drift. Um, yeah, she's wearing not a whole lot, just how I like it. Uh, you got a little pool floaty here that's removable. Uh, I think it adds a pretty nice touch, and it's a pretty cool reference to her face sprite. Um, the base, pretty cool. Um, it's kind of very granular and detailed here at the bottom. Um, outfit, really good in general. 
Uh, I heard that the metal uh, umbrella stand here can stain her hands. Um, I've never experienced this, but that's something uh, to be wary about in case you do choose to buy it. Uh, it was about, uh, I think it was about 140 or 150 not including shipping. Uh, but this thing is really great. I think it's uh, my favorite. Um, and if not, definitely like a top five. So I'll give this a, hmm, a 10 out of 10. It's a masterpiece. All right, the spice continues with this Tamamu altar figure. Uh, she's in her altar summer outfit as well. It uh, cost about 130 US dollars, not including shipping. Uh, she's got those huge boobs again. Um, but yeah, it's pretty dang good. I like how they went with the multiple tail approach, which is a nice nod to her cannon form. Uh, you mainly see her with one or two tails these days, so seeing her in her nine tail form is pretty cool. Uh, her ears aren't as fluffy as they could be, which may be a little bummer, but the hair is really nice. Um, you got this red uh, cloth draped around her legs, which is pretty good looking um, her swimsuit leaves not a whole lot more to be desired and overall a pretty solid representation of Tamamo Alter um, I would give this uh, let's just go with a 10 out of 10 it's a masterpiece all right, moving on to the Saber figures that I have. This is a pretty common one. It was released several years back, but had a re-release relatively recently in the last one or two years. Um, and it's pretty cool. This, the pose is really awesome. I can't believe it's held up by this single uh, metal pole sticking out of the base. To support this entire figure, uh, which is pretty nutty. Um, but yeah, this is a 10 out of 10 for the fact that Saber is uh, best original fate girl, you know, out of the three. Uh, automatic 10 out of 10, it's a masterpiece. And you also can use her non transparent sword. Uh, so I do have the clear one out here, which if you've played the game, is pretty neat. But yeah, really cool. I recommend this if you're a Saber fan. Um, definitely one of her best figures. Alright, so the one on the back was the one I just showed, but this one on the front, when I was a bumbling idiot, I actually bought a knockoff figure for this exact model. So the one I'm showing right here is the knockoff. Um, one thing to note is it literally doesn't work on its base that they sent. Um, you know how this one is held up by that single metal rod? Well, the metal rod they gave for the knockoff, it doesn't support it. It literally just falls over, so it's not even displayable. Uh, another thing is the details kind of suck. Like, just look at the hair. Uh, this one is up close, so you should be able to see more details. But it's still not even as good as the one in the back, um, which is farther away. And her arm is covering her entire face. Like, what are you even supposed to demonstrate if it is, if it does stand upright? Uh, you're just seeing an arm. It could be anyone behind it. It could be another Tamamo, but no, this... Don't buy knockoff figures. If you buy a knockoff figure, you deserve the garbage that they send you. Uh, this is a mistake that I've learned, and I'll save you your money. It's not even worth it. It could be 90% off. 
uh, but you get what you paid for. It's not worth it. Uh, the original figure, the original non-knockoff one was only like 20 or 30 bucks more than this knockoff one I bought from eBay. Uh, just go ahead and buy the real one. Uh, it actually stands up properly. And yeah. So the only reason I'm keeping this around is to remind myself how stupid I was buying this uh, this knockoff one that doesn't even stand properly. Don't do what I did. 0 out of 10. It's garbage. If you buy it, you should feel ashamed. And now for the latest one I got. This one was released uh, less than a month ago. And it is freaking cool as heck. Saber altar on a motorcycle. It was about 160 or 170 USD with uh, not including shipping. But man, this thing is awesome. Like the details on the motorcycle. Look at that. That's insane. That is super freaking cool. Let me just uh, turn it into the light so you can hopefully see a bit more detail. Yeah, that thing is cool. Like a straight up cool as heck um, the base is awesome it's like this little cracked road thing um, got the cool little fake Grand Order logo since this was originally from uh, the game or Saber Altar yeah I guess Saber Altar on a motorcycle is a uh, reference to her summer skin where she has a motorcycle uh, although she doesn't really have this outfit but regardless uh super freaking cool dude this is awesome i waited so long for this to come out i got delayed a few times but it was worth the wait uh definitely a 10 out of 10 masterpiece no doubt about it this thing is awesome But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this review of some of the favorite figures I have. Um, hopefully you have a better idea of uh, which ones to buy based on my personal opinion out of these. Um, just, you know, pros and cons to all of them. And you should uh, definitely buy the ones that are most appealing to you if you have limited income. Um, let me know what you think. And if I should do any more reviews, I was thinking maybe reviewing, um, I don't know, it can be anything, like multivitamins or my Tamodakis, but let me know what you're interested in. Uh, if you want me to upload any other types of cool content. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want anything more like that, just let me know, and I'll see you next time. Later!